Hi Taurus, it's Sammy Lane here. Welcome. Please take a second to like and subscribe. Um, if these messages resonate for you, my hope and intention is that they will at least resonate a little bit. Uh, at least a couple messages for each of you if they don't resonate all the way. I'm doing Starseed, Ancestors, Angels, Wisdom of the Oracle, plus Tarot. So I'm sure there's going to be something, plus these cool Pleiadian cards. So please comment uh, if any of these cards do resonate. That helps confirm things for me and the other Taurus that are watching. This will be for all Taurus placements, uh, strong Taurus placements like Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you don't know those signs, get your birth chart. It's free. If you would like to get an interpretation, you can email me. That's in the description box below. Thank you. Okay. This is going to be for Taurus from now, the 18th, until May 31st. We have a lot coming up in the next two weeks. We have Saturn retrograding on the 22nd and 23rd, around there. And we have the 26th is the full moon lunar eclipse. Ooh, there you are in Sagittarius. And then we will be having a Mercury retrograde on the 29th. So we're already in pre-shadow phase for that. But uh, it's kicking off legit on the 29th so we want to kind of get things going now before we reach this point we have about five or six days until Saturn comes to a stop and um, he's moving really slow already so we're going to start to feel a little bit more restricted Saturn wants to know how you feel about it are you serious about it is this something you could commit to uh, are you in or are you out what are you planning what's your strategy get with it so we're going to be forced to slow down and look at that stuff. So um, you kind of want to get things in position before that happens. Anyways, for you, Taurus from the Pleiadians, you are truly amazing and wonderful, but don't get carried away because all is equal and all is a cell of God. Okay, so you are truly amazing and wonderful. We all know it. But we're all equal, we're all a part of the collective, so we're almost out of Taurus season. So maybe you feel like hot shit right now, Taurus. <laughs> maybe that's what Spirit is saying, but pretty soon we're going to be in Gemini. And we're going to start to see and think, really think about... Those things we put into motion, things that we wanted in the physical, the material things that we were discovering and, and planning for while we've been in Taurus season. So please give me some messages from the Angels and Ancestors Guidebook or uh, Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards. And I'm going to read from the guidebook. Okay, you got Animal Guardian. Trust your instincts. Some of you may really feel like you are an animal guardian. Feel responsible for animals. Maybe some of you have a lot of pets. This is so nice. We're going to read it. And then Magic Guardian. Capricorn got this too. So you guys are really manifesting. I mean, you're really calling upon your gifts and your angels and your guides to really create what it is that you want moving forward. It says, unlock the magic within. So let's read these real quick. Animal Guardian came out first. So it says, trust your instincts, trust the powerful animal spirit within to learn more about yourself and your talents. The Animal Guardian is the card that represents the angels of the animal kingdom. Animals are angels of nature who have incredible lessons to offer and medicine that can support you on your spiritual journey and help you survive some of your greatest challenges. When you connect with the energies of animals, you can learn a lot about yourself and the earth. 
You also have instinctive animal energy within that can direct you towards everything you need and more. This card depicts a tribal angel being held and supported by her animals. She has a love for them and they have a love for her, demonstrating how incredibly connected nature is with the spiritual realms. You have a powerful animal within that can be wild, protective, instinctive, and even calm. Animals don't second guess how they feel, they just express it. And you can learn from that. When this card arises, it's important to connect with how you really feel, how you want to feel, and what you really need. Take the time to connect with your animal energy and express it naturally. Let even the fiercest energy move through you before returning to your natural state. It will teach you a lot about your gifts and how you can grow. Sorry, I was drifting over while I was reading. Anyways, the point is, and I'm going to pull from my animal spirit deck for you because I wasn't planning on it, but it seems like this is really... Taurus, I know sometimes you have a hard time expressing yourself emotionally. So I think what Spirit is saying is, like, let that animal in you loose sometimes, you know, and don't be afraid to say how you feel. It's very important to communicate that to the people around you. And let's read this Magic Guardian. Okay. Stop looking outside yourself and recognize that you have incredible power within. Magic with a K is the energy of the universe that allows you to manifest and create through the direction and power of your will. It changes according to your frequency. The Magic Guardian is a representation of the Angel of Magic who helps you direct your will to bring something into creation. She is the angel who swirls around shamans and wise ones when they're calling on the energy of magic to help them manifest something that will be healing and supportive of their path. She is the angel of all magic that is directed for the highest good of whoever is working with it. You are the magic. You are the answer. You have it all within you. If you've been searching for an answer or a reason to focus, recognize that all you are looking for is already within you. You are a powerful and magical person with the capacity to direct your intentions and will your desires into being. Okay, but your power can only be powerful when you own it. So take the time to acknowledge it. Your ability to dedicate yourself to a goal and make it happen, because you are a very hardworking Taurus, is a real gift that you are being guided to recognize now. Wow. That is so cool. Let's pull from these animal cards just to see what's going on with you, with this animal guardian. That is so cool. Tell me about Taurus from now to the end of this month, 31st. Taurus and their animal instinct. What animal spirits are they needing to embody for the remainder of this month? Second half of May 2021. I'm feeling drawn to this. Badger spirit. Be fearless and bold. Number four. Any other animal spirits? Ooh, fox spirit. Okay, let's read these. I'm not going to read the whole thing because this is going to be really long if I do. Okay, badger spirit. Be fearless and bold. Number four. Badger Spirit rejoices at your persistence and commitment to what is true for you, being authentic, right? Whatever you seek, your tenacity and faith in your partnership with Spirit is paying off and the results will soon coalesce into form into your world. The gift of Badger Spirit is the surety that taking a risk now and being courageous, fearless and bold will yield wondrous results. 
This is a time to harness your will and apply it consistently to the pursuit of your dreams. Know that no matter the temporary outer conditions, you will manifest your desires in divine timing and in the form that spirit deems best for you. Badger Spirit says you have what it takes to get what you want, so assert yourself. Be fearless and bold, shining your light as your purpose calls you into the world. New relationships are also being given a green light now, so don't be afraid to make the first move. Badger Spirit loves your brave and mighty heart. And then we have Fox Spirit, number 27. Think on your feet. Be alert now, for Fox Spirit has appeared and you are meant to move swiftly. Let this clever spirit draw out your creativity as you adjust to rapidly changing circumstances with resilience, grace, and astuteness. Fox Spirit helps you to think on your feet, using your best judgment and wits to help you slip into a more advantageous situation. Now is not a time to hesitate but a time for swift action of the mind, a time to think outside the box and notice the many ways in which you might make a move. Aware of your surroundings and always clear on what you deserve and wish to co-create. Trust that your cleverness, guided by Fox Spirit, will serve you well. So, you're being asked to be bold and fearless and quick. Think on your feet and be swift about it. And I think uh, like I mentioned before, that's kind of this energy of like, we need to figure shit out before Saturn stops. Because, uh, you know, we're going to be made to wait. Maybe there, there will be delays. So it's better if you can start on a project now, get things going now. And then maybe you won't be as affected as if you waited another week. Let's see, tell me about Taurus from now to the 31st of May. Second half of May for Taurus. What are they working on? Taurus. Any day now, Taurus. Dang, I was about to say, Taurus, you're taking forever. <laughs> That's funny because you guys are kind of slow, the bull, you know? Not all of you. Don't be offended. Depends on your chart. Okay. Deep cellular healing. Arcturus healing. Physical and emotional healing. Yes, Taurus. You need this healing. The golden children. Okay, so you may be healing your inner child here. It says inner child, tenderness, innocence, and rare gifts. So you're really being asked to look inside now, Taurus. Heal your past trauma. It could be past life stuff. It could be childhood trauma. To really heal yourself physically and emotionally and talk about your needs. This says empathetic, oh, just kidding, empathic starseed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. So this means uh, if you are empaths, those of you who are empaths, that you feel very deeply. You can walk into a room and you feel the tension or, or you can feel how others feel immediately without them having to say anything. If you do have that ability and you do not protect your energy, you will be taking on that energy. And sometimes it's positive, but other times it's toxic and it's negative. So you have to protect your energetic sovereignty here because you are a free and sovereign being and you have the right to not take on and absorb everybody else's shit. So don't absorb what's not yours. Okay, and there are many ways that you can do that. I'm sure there's a few, and I know there's a few meditations here on YT where you can find um, meditations for empaths. 
Some people don't even know that they're empaths in their whole lives. They may feel more emotional than others or people may tell them they're emotional or they're sensitive or whatever. And in reality, they are more sensitive to others and uh, they don't realize that they've been taking on other people's drama and negativity and anger and pain for their whole lives. Sometimes you feel things that aren't yours and you need to really question, is this coming from me? Is this how I really feel or am I absorbing just the energies around me? You know, and then you can can figure out if if you need to be in that space or or if you should be somewhere else, if you should get rid of some of that toxic energy. You know, like by removing those people from your life or those situations from your life. The earth and its animals are really trying to connect to you at this time and, and help you transmute your past pain. And like the cards are saying, some of that pain isn't even yours. So it's really a time to look within Taurus and be willing to, to focus on what needs to be done in order to feel better emotionally. Observer. And this is really leads into what I was saying because this card is not about making moves and until you know. This card is about waiting to see. So with the fox spirit here, it's like they want you to think on your feet. They want you to be ready. But until you're ready, you're just asked to be the observer. And this is kind of the energy what, that I was talking about when it comes to empaths is observing, is this emotion mine? Are these thoughts really mine? And are they true? And are they helpful? Or are they hurting me? Because you can always change your thoughts. You can always change the way you feel about something. It may take a while to change, you know, subconscious patterns and beliefs, but you can do that. And you can break those down by becoming that observer really noticing how you feel and think about things. Let's jump into the tarot. Spirit, please tell me about Taurus. Taurus energy from now until the end of May. Taurus. For the second half of May, what are they dealing with? What is their current energy? Okay, reciprocity. We have equality. So, this is the card that means you're putting in a lot, but you're also getting back what you deserve. So, you may have found this in a person, a relationship, or a career, where you feel like you're your coins are good right now, your money's good, and you have enough to give back, you're in a very generous place. If this is about a relationship, this means that you have found uh, a partner who is equal to you. You have found balance in a partnership, and it seems like that might be it. I mean, we have four of wands here. This could be twin flame thing with the 1111 um, symbolism, but this could also just be stability. Like, you're you have maybe found an abundance uh, in your career or finally gotten to where maybe you've paid off some debt, you got a good amount of money coming in, you got money in savings, you've invested. So it's like you feel comfortable, you feel safe and secure and stable. And this is the wedding card or the um, stable foundations card. So this could be a commitment. This could be definitely a relationship. We're gonna get some more cards. Um, this could be that you have finally found this equality in this stable place after heartache. I know uh, I haven't done you guys' personal readings in a long time. I've just been doing the all signs. But I do remember Taurus specifically feeling like things weren't equal. Like they were giving too much in a relationship. So maybe now you guys have come to a place where you feel really good about your relationship or your career, wherever you are, your money's good and you feel stable and secure. 
This could be a commitment or this is a career for some of you. We have Knight of Wands energy. So you guys may be getting excited about uh, an offer coming in. Something that could be coming in quickly. This could be a passionate, uh, creative endeavor. Something with a lot of fire. Or this could be someone coming in towards you. Who wants this commitment with you? This could be your partner um, or your spouse. Knight of Wands is fire energy. So you may be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. But when this energy comes in, uh, it's pretty quick. And it's very passionate. You may have a lot of chemistry or uh, fire, or passion, attraction to this person. Uh, if you're not in a relationship, then you may be having this person coming in for you. Wheel of Fortune just flipped over. So you may have ended a karmic cycle and now you're really stepping into a new phase. A new, a new uh, lesson. Like a where you've gotten closure or a lesson came around and you actually learned it and you did what you needed to do and you healed and, and you made this, the changes and now it's time for the wheel to turn in your favor. This is a very fortunate card to get. This is like you're receiving good karma possibly by the end of this month. It's like the lesson has been learned and now you can move towards a better foundation. High Priestess energy. So you may be getting higher guidance about this. Or this is something that uh, it's like your intuition. Like you just know. This is something that is created in the subconscious. So some of you may have manifested this situation. This relationship or this partnership. I mean, it looks, it does look equal. We have the moon on the bottom, so this may be a very emotional connection. Or there may be some something hidden about this that you're curious about. Maybe something is uncertain here. Um, or this person, you could be dealing with the Pisces or Cancer energy. And we also have Seven of Pentacles. You're definitely putting an effort here. We have, it goes six to seven. So I feel like as long as this passion is here, you're really moving in a very positive direction. And if you feel guided towards this to stay here, this is your intuition as well. You guys are really following your deepest knowing here. And you're going to invest more into this thing. You're going to add more um, effort and work and put in more. This is like planting the seeds. This is planning a future. This is like planning retirement. And uh, then we have judgment. So I feel some of you are really making this call right now if you want to invest. Because it feels okay. It feels equal. It feels stable. And it feels like things are going your way. So whether your intuition is telling you yes or no, that's what I feel like you're wondering. Should I put more effort into this? Should I put all my eggs in one basket? And then a judgment is made. So a decision is made about this. And then we have the chariot, which is like, um, could be you're moving in a new direction, or it could just be a uh, cancer energy, or it could be that you start moving quickly towards the things that you want. You start manifesting and and you feel like you're on the right path and then it's like go for it like go for it get it done um, the chariot is fast moving so it seems like you're kind of debating here or asking you could even be praying about this wondering should I invest more and then the judgment energy is like yeah your inner knowing is telling you you, you make a decision here and then you, you just go for it um, temperance is on the bottom as well. Could be Sagittarian energy that you're dealing with. But um, temperance is like sometimes you have to temper the water. Sometimes you have to alchemize a little bit. Sometimes you got to tweak it. You got to work it. And sometimes that takes time. It takes patience. Uh, and so with the chariot, the judgment, and temperance all on the bottom, it seems like you've decided clearly what you want and you're going to move toward it 
But Spirit is saying you have to incorporate this higher knowledge, this higher guidance that you're getting. And you're going to have to have patience. But there is possibly some healing that needs to be done in order for this to work out the way you envision it. And we already know from the Oracle cards that you do need to focus on some deep healing here, physically and emotionally. And you're getting so much guidance and help dealing with your heavy, deep emotions that maybe you've never focused on before will really help you, especially if you're an empath. So let's see, angel guidance for Taurus. Okay, we have energy work. Life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. So some of you may work with your hands. Some of you, if you're empaths, if you care for others, like nurse, doctor, uh, EMT, anything where you have to physically touch someone else, you may be physically healing them and not even know it as an empath. You could be absorbing, taking on their negativity and not even know it. So if you realize like at some point you have some type of physical ailments and you don't really know what's going on or you don't know where it's coming from, that may be a manifestation. I don't know why I'm getting this, but that may be a manifestation of you if you're working with your hands taking on the energy of others without realizing it. You may want to go see a Reiki a healer, anyone who does energy work that can pinpoint that for you exactly. If you have physical ailments and you don't really, you know, and there's like really no cause. Anyways, giving and receiving, that is exactly the energy of this card, is mutual giving and receiving. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale or give, or you only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe for optimal health, energy, and replenishment. Balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. So make sure you're resting, uh, you know, as much as you're working, and vice versa. Be careful not to overindulge. I know Taurus season is coming to a close, and you may have already done that. But you just want to make sure you find balance, okay? You want to keep a good head on your shoulders as we move into Gemini energy here soon. Saturn coming in. It seems like you've already made up your mind or you will by the end of this month, okay? And you just have to understand it. Some of you are confused, I think, because we have a lot of fast moving energy and then we have slow as well. We have fast coming in, fast making decisions, they want you to be swift, but at the same time you have this healing that needs to be done. You have this patience that is needed. So be patient with this situation, whether it's career or your person. Make sure you're listening to your intuition and healing yourself, Taurus. It's very important and it's going to be vital to this relationship or career, whatever this stability is, it's vital to your balance. Okay, so make sure you dedicate some time to healing and going within and and crying it out, you know, emotional healing. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you got something out of it. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you did resonate. That would be really helpful to me and other people who are watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.